Hey, it's me, Bobby 33 and I'm here to make some early E3 predictions, starting with Nintendo first. Now, most of these predictions are going to be focused on first-party companies, or the games specifically. Uh, I'm going to make a third-party one near the end of E3, as well as some of the changes I may have made from this video and the other ones. Right now, I'm going to start with Nintendo, and let's go from there. The first game I'm predicting is that Pikmin 4 is going to be officially announced and it's going to come out in fall 2017. Now I heard this Pikmin game may be a reboot to the series so whatever the official title is, there is going to be a Pikmin game coming out to the Switch. If you remember Nintendo, when talking about Pikmin 4, they say that there is, it's pretty much completed or near completion so it's not impossible to imagine a Pikmin game to come out this early. I'm predicting fall of 2017 because you know Mario Odyssey is obviously going to be hard in 2017 and Splatoon is going to be coming out in the summer so that's a good game to have in between you know those two big games. Now the reason it didn't really show it off before or at least this is my assumption is that you know they want to see some surprises at E3 and plus you know Mario, Zelda, and Splatoon are much bigger titles than uh, Pikmin, which is kind of weird because Pikmin is has already three games in coming out with a 3DS and you know the rumored Pikmin Four game. But uh, as for uh, Pikmin 3DS, I'm not going to be making um, much uh, 3DS predictions here because it's focused. I'm focused on Nintendo Switch. But uh, Pikmin 3D is, is most likely going to come out in Spring 2018. Uh, assuming that Pikmin 4 is uh, coming out in Fall 2017. They don't want two Pikmin games too close together. But either way, I think Pikmin 4 is definitely going to be announced. The Super Smash Bros. Switch port is definitely going to be announced. And I think it's going to come out in either October 2017 or December 2017, either before or after Super Mario Odyssey. Now, this game will, you know, be an upgraded port of the Smash Bros. for Wii U. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to add any stages from the 3DS uh, Smash Bros. version. And, you know, of course, Ice Climb is going to be announced as a new character and maybe one other. Uh, um, if I had to guess one other, it'd be a Splatoon representative, specifically Carrie and Marie, and not the, um, the Squares Inklings, you know, boy or girl, uh, mainly because A, they got costume for them, and B, if they're bringing back Ash Kramers versus a, you know, a two-character fighter, I think adding another two-character fighter like Carrie and Marie would definitely, definitely spice things up a bit. But again, that's just a crazy prediction of mine. But I do think they uh, are at least going to announce a Smash Bros. port. Official console will be officially announced that it's coming out through the fall, right around the same time that Nintendo's online subscription service will be active. Uh, mainly because I think in order to download your old games, that you must you know, subscribe to the online service to uh, re-download all of them to another system. Does that sound a bit unfair? Yes, but I suppose it's better than, you know, buying the games all over again. But I, I suppose there is a silver lining to this crowd that I also predict, you know, right after the presentation that GameQ games will be available to download right away, at least three of them. Uh, if I have to guess, uh, the three games would be Luigi Mansion, uh, Ray Race, uh, Blue Ocean, and, well, not Super Mario Sunshine, at least not yet. Uh, mainly because, you know, Mario Odyssey would be close by. But I guess the third one would be Star Fox Adventures, you know, bringing another rare game. But, uh, you know, that's just a uh, really crazy prediction that just came up right on the top of my head. A Metroid game would definitely be announced most likely at the end of the presentation. 
If I had to guess Rust Metro game, it would be Metro Prime 4. I think that's a great game to show off the power of the Nintendo Switch. And if they add some online battle modes, especially now that the Terrace game series is about, you know, online gaming, I think people are going to get excited and that's a great game to have, you know, around 2018, either being December or holiday. There will be a teaser trailer for the Pokemon Switch game. Now, I'm not sure when this game is going to come out. I don't think they're going to show any gameplay footage. But I think this is going to tell people, hey, there's a Pokemon game officially announced. It's coming, you know, 2018. Uh, I don't think it's going to be the Pokemon Star Games that's being rumored. Although, I am keeping my fingers crossed. I mean, if they do release a Pokemon Stars game, then most likely that's going to come out, you know, in the uh, first quarter of 2018. So that's going to be like a enhanced ports with probably some more features that wasn't in the Pokemon Sun and Moon 3DS game. But they are at least going to tease something for Pokemon. The girl show off some gameplay for Fire Emblem Warriors. Uh, that's pretty much coming out uh, this year, I believe. And probably going to fill in the gap between, you know, Splatoon 2 and Mario Odyssey. As for the um, uh, the main nine Fire Emblem game that's uh, coming out for the Switch in 2018, I don't think you're going to hear any word about it, not even a teaser trailer. They're going to, focus, they're going to mainly focus on Fire Emblem Warriors and the Fire Emblem uh, Shadows of Echoes, I believe, the, um, the newest game for the 3DS. Admittedly, I have my doubts on this prediction, but I remember the rumored uh, Mario Ravi Rabbit crossover game that was um, leaked, you know, months ago. I think if that game is real, which there's a good chance there is, I... I'm not, you know, highly hoping for that, mainly because I'm not uh, particularly interested in that. And plus it seems kind of like a crazy rumor than anything else. But if that game does exist, then Nintendo should show that off at the Ubisoft press conference. Mainly because Ubisoft like to have the press conference, you know, a day before Nintendo does. And at least Nintendo will have some sort of present at least for a third party company. And I guess while we're on the topic of Ubisoft, I think Beyond Good and Evil 2 uh, will be announced as a, at least a time exclusive for the Nintendo Switch. But again, you know, that's another prediction that I don't have, you know, high hopes for. Well, here comes the um, negative part of the prediction list. I don't think there's going to be any Bayonetta 3 announcement, at least not on the Nintendo conference themselves. Uh, why I bring up Bayonetta? Well, mainly because Sega uh, pretty much released a game on Steam, which is a 8-bit Bayonetta. It's pretty much like an arcade shooter. Uh, most likely the actual announcement that's supposed to come out, I believe, a couple of days, or at least as of this recording, that you know, the first Bayonetta game would be available to download on Steam. If there is going to be a dead Bayonetta game, it's most likely going to be in multiple platforms and not Nintendo exclusive like Bayonetta 2 was. But, you know, we'll see in the future. Meta 3, I believe, will be officially announced to be able to download on the virtual console. Uh, they're going to most likely talk about that, you know, when they talk about the topic of virtual console, they're going to say a Metal 3 is going to be available for download this year, and people are going to be excited. But if I was Nintendo personally, you know, seeing all this hype for Metal 3, or I'm guessing if they were going to localize it over in America, it would be Earthbound 2, at least that's my own um, guess. I would have the uh, first three game of available on a physical cartridge so you know I think people would be more excited for a physical copy of you know all three games in one cartridge rather than just a 
download of the uh, Nintendo eShop. Although I think both options could be fine, but uh, if I was Nintendo, I, I would try a physical copy attempt. Next, we get a kind of a spiritual successor of Wii Sports, which is uh, Nintendo Switch Sports, which, you know, pretty much, you know, it used the Joy-Cons as motion controls to play golf, bowling, you know, all that other stuff. It would probably be more of a spiritual successor of Wii Sports Resorts than anything else. But I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo tries to replicate the um, Wii Sports phenomenon and maybe even bundle it with uh, a future Nintendo Switch console for here on out. My final prediction is that this is sort of Breath of the Wild will be shown off the uh, DLC part, specifically the extra story mode that's coming out in 2017. Uh, I think uh, they're going to show some preview of the stories, maybe some new gameplay elements, possibly some new areas to explore, and all that other stuff. Or oh, for those wondering why I didn't mention Mario Odyssey and Xenoblade 2, of course, they're going to be shown, but, you know, we saw what we all wanted to see. But maybe ex with the exception of Season Break 2, not showing much gameplay. But, you know, we are excited for that game. We all know it's going to come. And we pretty much know oh, the release date of Super Mario Odyssey while Season Break 2 is scheduled for 2017. But I have a feeling that's going to be pushed back to 2018 as most RPGs uh, usually get delayed. But, you know, back to Zelda, I think, uh, like I said before, I don't think this is going to end the uh, presentation. Most likely a Metroid Prime game, you know, would end the uh, presentation really nicely to show off the uh, Nintendo Switch uh, graphical power. But, you know, uh, definitely to go show off, uh, there's a Zelda DLC for sure. So that's the end of my prediction. I may make another one of these, you know, like an updated version, like maybe a month uh, before E3 or at least a couple of weeks before it. Uh, you know, to either A, come out with new prediction or change from my uh, certain prediction I made in this video. And I am also going to make predictions of Sony and Microsoft press conference, which hopefully will come out a few days after this one. So this is me, Bob33, and I catch you guys later.